Hello students. In this video, we'll discuss about the question of projection of planes when the plane is perpendicular to both the principal planes. Let us read out the question. An equilateral triangle of side 60 mm is perpendicular to both HP and VP. One of the corners of the triangle is on HP, and edge through that is inclined at 45 degree to HP. Draw the projections of the triangle. So basically, here we are given with an equilateral triangle whose one side is equal to 60 mm, and it is perpendicular to both HP and VP. So basically, in this, since it is perpendicular to both HP and VP, you will not be able to see the actual shape. Of this triangle in any of the views, principal views like front view and top view. On the front view and top view, you will not be able to see the actual shape, right? So for this, we will have to project its view on the profile plane, which is the side view. We'll draw the side view first. Okay. In the side view, we'll be drawing a triangle such that one of its corners is on HP, and an edge through that corner is inclined at 45 degree to HP. Let us move to AutoCAD. Let us draw the reference line first. Go to Line Command. Turn on Ortho mode. Let us draw vertical reference line. Then let us draw horizontal reference line. So in the question, it is given a triangular lamina. Is perpendicular to both principal planes. Okay, so we will be drawing the side view first. Since one of the corners is resting on HP. Okay, so let us go to first of all polygon command number of sides three. Press center. Go to edge method. Okay, turn off ortho mode. Let us click over here. As one of the corners is resting on HP, so click over here. So for edge method, let us draw one edge by polar coordinate system at the rate 60. 60 is the length of one edge of the polygon less than 45. So that edge is inclined at 45 degree to HP. Press center. Right, so this is the polygon. Let us increase the line weight. Let it be equal to one mm. Go to multi-line text command. Let us name this corner as a double dash. Let the size be equal to 4.5. Font style let it be equal to Times New Roman. A double dash. Let us move this near to the corner. So Control C, Control V. Double click. This is B double dash. Control V. This is C double dash. So double click and you write C. Right. So this is the side view. After this, we will draw vertical projection lines from all the corners of this triangle. Turn on Ortho mode and turn on Object Snap. The line command from here draw a line vertical line till HP. So here also draw a vertical line till HP. 
right so after this let us draw a projection line here also at the left or you can say for the front view and top view now after this what you can do is go to circle command okay and take this as the center of the circle click over here first of all take this as the radius then again go to circle command take this as the center take this corner as the radius again go to circle command take this as the center and take this as the radius okay now we just need this this portion of these the circles we will convert these into arcs so we'll trim the extra parts of the circle so write t r and press enter twice once and twice let us delete this this and this similarly on the other side also let us trim this this and this one after this you can delete the remaining parts of the arcs that's it now wherever these arcs intersect this x y line from there you draw horizontal projection lines so click over here draw horizontal projection line again from the other point from here also you draw horizontal projection line and from here also you draw the horizontal projection line and then draw two horizontal projection lines from these corners also of the side view right let us increase the line weight for the reference lines also let us make it 0.50 so that it may differ from the actual projections now let us make the front view so this will be the front view because when you view this object from the front since it is perpendicular to both hp and vp it will be just a line that is visible to you right and then the other view is this one top view also will be a line right you can use point command to show the various points or corners of the triangle over here let us mark the points first and then we'll use point style to show the point so use p type press enter let us take this as the point style let's see point different points are visible now now let us name these so we'll be matching the corresponding points like let us suppose control c control v this will be 
a dash because it is the front view. Control C, Control V. This will be C because this is C from here. Projection is coming from C dash, C double dash. So this will be C dash, and this one, this will be B dash because the projection is coming from B double dash. Similarly. In the top view also, so we'll match the corresponding points. This will be A because projection from A double dash is coming over here. So it will be small a simple. This will be small b, b in the lower case because projection is coming from A double dash. And this will be C because the projection is coming from C double dash. Right. So let us name the reference line also. This will be capital X. This will be capital Y. This you can name as X one capital X right one make it in subscript X one control C control V so this will be Y one Right, so this figure is complete. Let us do the dimensioning. Go to align dimensioning, turn on object snap. So this is equal to 60 as given in the question. Let us see the angle also. So here side BC is inclined to HP at 45 degree and end B is resting on HP. So this is the solution to this question. This is the front view. Let us write down. This is the front view. This is the top view. And this is the side view. I suppose this question is clear to you. Thank you very much.